This tutorial video will guide you through the assembly process of your new R-Series bike. Start the unpacking process by removing the four plastic tabs at the bottom of the cardboard box by pulling the D-ring tab and fully removing the plastic insert. Once the plastic inserts are removed, lift the upper portion of the box to remove it. This step may require two people. After removing the upper portion of the cardboard box, find all of the provided accessories including the pedals, charger, hardware, and tool kit and set them aside for use during your assembly. The tool kit will include a 5mm Allen wrench and an open wrench with 15mm and 13mm ends, as well as 10 spare 3mm mounting screws. Once the included accessories have been set aside, remove the bike from the box and engage the kickstand. Proceed with removing the protective packaging from the bike. You will need the 5mm Allen wrench for the handlebar installation. Remove the handlebar clamp using the 5mm Allen wrench and keep the hardware and clamp safely set aside for the installation. Place the lower crossbar of the handlebar into the groove of the top crown and place the clamp over top of the lower crossbar. First, hand tighten all four bolts into place, making sure the handlebar is centered in the clamp. Use the 5mm Allen wrench to cross tighten these four bolts. The handlebar can be adjusted to rider comfort after the assembly is finished and the rider has had a chance to get a feel for maneuvering the bike. Next, take the pedal set and identify the left and right pedals. The pedals are specific to the corresponding sides of the bike and marked with the letter R for right and L for left at the tip of the thread. It is recommended that you use a small amount of bicycle grease or anti-seize compound on the pedal threads prior to installation. Once verifying which side each pedal will attach to, use the 15mm wrench to tighten each pedal. The right can be tightened in a clockwise motion, and the left will be tightened in a counterclockwise motion. Make sure that all wiring is properly routed through the left stanchion of your fork. The wiring should be free from any strain when making full movement of your handlebars from left to right. Make sure that any wiring is properly zip-tied on the firm portion of the plastic as to not disrupt the inner electrical wiring, and that any slack in wiring is secured properly. Next, inflate your tires to recommended 27 to 30 PSI. Pressure will vary based on the weight of the rider and terrain of each ride. To charge the battery, first ensure the power button on the battery is in the off position. At this point, you can either leave the battery on the bike or remove it to charge. Plug the charger into a wall outlet and then connect the charger to the charging port of the battery. The charger should display a green LED light. Turn the power button to the battery on to begin the charging cycle. The LED light on the charger should change from green to red when the battery is turned on, indicating the battery is now charging. Once the battery has been fully charged, the LED light on the charger will turn back to green to indicate the charge cycle is complete. Turn the battery power button to the off position and remove the charger from the battery charging port. The brake handles can be adjusted to rider comfort. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to make any adjustments. We recommend a 45 degree angle. The angle of the display can also be adjusted with a 3mm Allen wrench. Once adjusted, check that the brake cable guide is set to keep it from rubbing against the tire. Make sure to perform a pre-ride safety check before your first ride, making sure the brakes are fully functional, inspecting tires and wheels to make sure they are properly installed and secure in the dropout, and ensure that any wiring through the fork is free from strain when turning the fork in either direction. You can find a full safety checklist and operation guide in your user manual, which is available to download at super73.com if you do not have a paper copy. Please take a moment now to register your bike on our website if you haven't already, as it is an important step in maintaining your warranty. With your bike registered, assembly and safety checks completed, and your battery fully charged, you are ready to take your new Super 73 R-Series bike for its first ride. If you run into any questions or concerns about your Super 73 bike, contact Super 73 directly by sending an email to customercare at super73.com or calling 814-747-9072 and a rider advocate will be able to assist you.